Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. We're back into getting things done. The holidays are coming, so there's some stuff that needs to be done in the house. A little sprucing up, cleaning up. Uh, plus winter is upon us, so there's other things that need to be taken care of. Uh, part of my list, um, and I'm still using my Artful Agenda. That's what it looks like. I have an ongoing list of things that need to be done for the year and it's uh it's specific to my needs my layout my house um so it's not something that i can just like give you a print out of however um i really believe that a lot of the things that i'm doing are things that are common to most people so today i'm in my back entrance i think you recognize the uh, background and there's a lot of things that need to be done here. Um, one, I have to repaint the walls again because it's the back entrance, okay? It's like it's the fingers and, and we're coming in, we get groceries, we're coming back out of, um, you know, a rainy day, scuff marks, stuff on the floor, you name it. So it, there's wear and tear in the back entrance, okay? Like most people. Um, so there's some repainting that needs to be done. Um, I'm going through my list mentally because I don't have it in front of me right now. I know I have to repaint the ceiling. I'd like to change the decor a little bit because I'm kind of tired of the uh, believe sign. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep the mirror. If I do, maybe I'll move it down a little bit more. Um, the floor has to be restained. The door has to be washed, the curtain has to be washed. It's like it's almost like a spring cleaning basically I'm doing, but since winter is coming, um, the seal on the door has to be replaced. So today I'm addressing the door and the door only. I'm going to clean the door, clean the uh, panel, clean the... Um, it's really bad, okay, around the um, knob. Uh, inside and out and I'm going to replace the seal and in a second when I show you my seal you'll understand why I have to replace it okay uh, and then in the next video I'll start doing other things but I'm gonna be in this back entrance for a minute only because I want to take care of it and I want it to look good for the holidays and for ourselves um, you know along the way if you're brand new welcome you're gonna see some really gross stuff I could be like a lot of people pre-cleaning and, and making things look better on camera, uh, but then you wouldn't have a before and after that's worth the wait. And also it would be fake. And that's not who I am. I want to normalize that life happens, that we have busy schedule. Um, a lot of women are by themselves raising their kids. Um, you don't have time to do these things. And a lot of us who have a household with you know, a mom and a dad and kids and work and lives and hobbies. And for me, you know, YouTube, Patreon, you name it, because I keep piling it on, um, a lot of things fall through the crack and it happens. It's not a flaw if it falls through the crack. It's just that we don't have the time right now to do it. Or at the time, we just didn't have the time to take care of it. So I'm taking care of it now. Um, and again, I want to normalize this. It's okay to have things fall apart because we all do. It's not something that needs to be um, used as a put down or, you know, oh, look at the... Uh, give us a break, okay? We have busy lives and things happen, you know? And they happen for everybody, okay? So we're gonna look at my back door. It's got uh, black marks by the handle and the uh, latch. Um, I'm sure a lot of people don't have that because they attend to it all the time. It's not on our mind, okay? It's not something that we think about. I have to do a window panel and the curtain and the seal. That's what I'm doing today. So let's dive into it. I hope I motivate you to create your own list of to-do things before the holidays. It's October 1st for me here, uh, October 2nd for you because I'm publishing this tomorrow. And we got what? October, November, December, we got two and a half, a little bit over two and a half months um, to get the house in order before the holidays. So let's get started. So here we are, this is my back entrance. Um, my shoes are here. We've got the mop thing here, and then 
decor that I'm going to have to address. That's the uh, <laughs> believe sign and be kind. Ah, I think I'm going to let go of that. A uh, little welcome thing. This is my pantry. Okay, that's going to have to be addressed too because we have a moth problem. All right. And then the back entrance is right here, um, which I'm sure you recognize. So, and then the entrance to the basement is over there. So things I need to do in here uh, is the floor, it gets destroyed every winter. So I have to uh, sand it down, restain it, um, do the same thing with the steps. And I have tried to put rags, I mean not rags, but rugs and stuff. It's, it's very complicated. They get stuck in the door when you open the door. It's, it's really not that practical for me to have a rug. Um, uh, this thing is still here, okay? It's still here. I used to, and this is still here, okay? How many years now? That's from the old gate. Um, so we got this new gate now going down to the basement. All of this needs to be repainted. The ceiling needs to be repainted. Uh, over there too and that's the mirror don't know what to do with it I think I'm gonna bring it down there's a hole right here from the door because there used to be a um, stopper I gotta replace it I think I'm gonna move this uh, put it somewhere else or not keep it uh, this is for the broom it's on the deck right now uh, so all of this I gotta clean repaint you know usual wear and tear what am I gonna say okay so today is the door. So the door, okay, let's let's just dive right into yeah, okay, yes. All right? That's got to get clean. Uh the curtain is got to get clean. Oh, filthy. Oh my god, she's filthy. Yeah, okay. Um so I'm going to start with that, okay? Uh all of this here is got to be taken care of. Uh look at the glass. It's it's got to get clean, okay? Hold on, we got a beagle. Hello. All right. I closed the door so I could film. And <laughs> I locked him out, the poor guy. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, really bad. Well, really bad. Okay. This, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Okay, because this thing, it just doesn't stay. Uh, and I need it to stay. So, we're going to address that. And the seal. All right, so... Here you go. This is the issue with the seal, and I know it changed color. Um, maybe it's better this way. All right. You see the seal? All right. So what happened to the seal? All right. I tell you what happened. Fiona. That's what happened. The cat. The cat used to come here, and she used to um, scratch to get to the door, and she <laughs> mangled the seal. So I have to get the whole thing taken care of. And I'm trying, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to figure out how do you put the seal on. I don't know if I have to remove this or not. We shall find out, okay? Let's start with the inside of the door. Okay, so I'm digging this down. And we're going to wash this curtain. Oh, I'm totally backlit. You know, some people would say, oh my God, why you let it go like this? It's just a matter of maintenance. Yeah, it's fine when you look at it as a single item, right? It's true, it's only a matter of maintenance. But when you have 80 items of maintenance in a home, okay? You could be doing this your entire week, maintaining stuff nonstop. I got other things to do. so. Like most people, and again, I'm here to normalize it, I address it when I can, okay? I get to it when I get to it. Uh, this is going to go to the wash. So what I have here is a bucket of hot water and dish detergent, that would be the Dawn, and then a um, fake or knockoff uh, magic eraser, okay? And I'm going to start from the top. And hopefully I'm not too backlit. Oh look, that's the inside of that magnet thing.
There's literally cobwebs here. I don't know if you can see it. the whole door clean um well <laughs> it looks clean to me uh i only need to rinse everything and i'm gonna do uh the wood as well um and the wood is sealed so i don't have to worry about the water and the wood and this is just hot water with white vinegar and i'm just gonna rinse it's gonna disinfect um, it's gonna remove any kind of odors, not that there's any, but you know, and I'm gonna start doing the glass panels too. But the glass panels, I'll finish them off with the Windex. I just don't want to spend a half an hour doing the glass panels with just the Windex and go over it, over it, over it many times. Um, I'm just gonna start pre-washing with just water and vinegar. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, okay, I know. <laughs> I need to figure out what's wrong with this one. That's an exercise in futility. I absolutely cannot remove this thing, so either I take it out entirely and put a plate on it, or I replace it entirely, and that's what I'm gonna do. Because the minute I remove it and put a plate on it, there's going to be a, a situation where I need to keep the door open and put a door stop or whatever. So I'll just replace it with one that works. Uh, when I come back, I'm cleaning the side of the door, the back of the door, and then I'll finish off with the seal. people coming over for the holidays you know like thanksgiving christmas whatever 
Have you looked at your back door on the outside? Is it clean? Because that's the first thing people see when they come in, right? And comment down below, how many times a year do you clean your door? Changing that Velcro thing um, that's to hang a wreath to one of those nano tape one like this. I'm gonna put it not on the glass though. So the door is clean. All I have to do now is the seal. Let me look at the package and see how you have to do it. Hopefully I don't have to remove the frame. Knock on wood. I don't think I do, but you never know. So it doesn't look like I have to remove the frame. You see the cat, how she scratched everything. Uh, what you gotta do is pull this out. Just remove the whole thing. That part is easy. Look at how chewed up it is. Oh, Fiona. Okay. Miss Impatient up at the door. Okay. Let me get the new one. So I got the Platinum Collection. And this is by MD, MD Building Product Platinum Collection. Door, door Weather Stripping Replacement. I have two of them, just in case. So what you do is that you measure, cut, because it's in three pieces, right? So this one goes here. Looks like I'm gonna have uh, to reuse the one that was on top. What a pain. So, you see how this is uh, shaped, right? So this part right here, this part, goes inside the groove.
You know, I'm gonna make a general complaint. <laughs> and it's gonna show, let me move the camera a little bit. It's gonna show my age. Uh, because I got a complaint, okay? When you buy a pack of MD Platinum Collection weather stripping, each roll is enough for one side of the door. I'm left with this. So I had two rolls. I can do two sides. But if I wanted to do the top part, watch out the sheep, I would have to buy three. And then I would be stuck with leftover I can't use. It's kind of like the hot dogs and the hot dog bun. You buy hot dogs, they come 12 in a pack, but when you buy hot dog buns, they come either 8 or 10 in a pack. It forces you to buy more bread. So MD Platinum Collection, you're forcing me to buy more of this. Uh, I ended up reinstalling the one on top, which is much thinner, and I'm wondering why I use the thinner one here. The last time I changed it, and I have a feeling it's because this one is going to be too thick and I won't be able to close the door. Watch, watch. This is what's going to happen. Alrighty. Just about. Um, I'm also going to be bringing that protein powder with me. You ready to go? Just about. Alright. Which protein powder are you taking? The one you left or mine? Uh, the one I left. Okay. Why? No, I'm just asking. Did you like yours? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, can't you see how fit I am? Uh -huh. All right, we finish this. When I come back, uh, I'll be, we'll try. When I come back, we'll see whether or not I can close the door. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a feeling I won't be able to, but you never know. Anyway, weather stripping is to stop water from coming in, obviously, uh, but it's also to stop drafts. Uh, so when it's really, really cold, if you pass your hand like this around your door frame and you can feel a draft or you can feel the cold, you probably need to change your weather stripping. Oh, I still have to get the uh, curtain back on, right? Okay. And then maybe I'll go get, since all my uh, decorative uh, seasonal decor is... Um, organized now uh, and I know where everything is I'm gonna go and get the uh, full reef and put it on the uh, door <sighs> I'm telling you I don't think I can close this door after this weather stripping So, basically what it comes down to is that you got to wear it a little bit. Um, so the door's got to be pushed. But let me tell you, that's going to be sealed. All right. So, uh, let me go get the curtain. I'm going to replace that. This is good. The door is really closed now. Okay. So it's got to keep being slammed in. Until it, you know, gives you a good fitting. I had to retape that thing at the bottom because it keeps falling. Stupid thing. Don't get a door stopper like that. Stupid. Uh, let me go get the curtain, replace that, and then go find my uh, wreath, and then I'm done with this, getting things done.
mission accomplished for the day. So it took a little bit under two hours and um, I have the whole door in and out, entirely clean, including the glass um, and the sides. I cleaned the outside frame, um, replaced the seal and decorated. Under two hours and I got this done. I can scratch it off my list, which was to replace the seal and end up doing a little bit more. Uh, so the door is ready for the holidays, um, this one and the um, next one. Now, some of you are probably wondering, well, Sophia, that's a pretty wreath, wreath. Uh, some of you are probably thinking, well, wait a minute, that's a nice decoration for your door. Why don't you put it on your front door? Uh, I no longer put those um, wreaths on the, um, or wreaths, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, on the front, except for the Christmas one, because I'm full south. And what happens is that I spend good money on, on a nice one, and then by the time summer is over, um, or even a couple of fall like this, they completely faded out. Um, because of the sun so i don't do it anymore i just keep it plain but it's pretty in the back plus we use the back door anyway <laughs> we don't use the front door and one wonders what who do you decorate for you decorate for yourself or for people uh i decorate for myself mostly so i'll keep it in the back um the door is getting easier and easier to close which is perfect this area was starting to get a little cold again uh, I noticed that last winter because Fiona had destroyed the weather stripping on both sides. So that's taken care of now. Um, everything is looking nice and clean and I'm done. So I hope you are glad I'm back with the getting things done. I told you I've got the uh, rest of the year. I, I still have quite a lot on my list. Um, so I'm happy I did this. In the next episode, I'm tackling the decor in here, uh, spackling and probably doing some uh, paint touch up on the yellow on the yellow um so that would be wednesday's video i guess i'll see you later if you enjoyed this and i motivated you to take care of some of your stuff and make a list of to do's for yourself in your home before the holidays or just period just do it um give me a thumbs up you can subscribe right here in the corner and click that bell button so you get notified every time i post a new video and uh, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at my great challenge. And in case you haven't heard, <laughs> I rebooted my Etsy shop for a uh, vintage find, Frenchie and Tubby. The link is down below so you can find uh, gifts for the holidays for your collector friends and people you know who love vintage stuff. Channel merch, including this t-shirt designed by Scott, my great challenge gift on Etsy. And if you want exclusive content not seen on YouTube, more intimate and definitely more focused on my family life, you can choose to support this channel and Patreon at patreon.com slash challenge. I'd love to see you there. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.